stuff so as you can see I've started to bleach the hair already um, as you can see from there in the little foil thing I've already gone, gone and done the first bundle and it's gone to an orange color the hair did not lift as much as I wanted it to and so I ended up actually bleaching this hair four times which was quite stressful but I am happy with how it turned out but I'm not gonna lie it was not easy the hair did not lift for a while but I'm happy with the color that I ended up with so as you can see I'm going in on the second bundle of hair with the bleaching mix and then I'm going in on the frontal so I'm going to be bleaching the knots and then I'm going to be bleaching the hair from root uh, from the root of the hair to the tips of the hair um, because I want it to be pink from the roots and then going into the lavender towards the end of the hair so with the bleach I left it on for about 15 to 20 minutes um, with black hair you can leave it for up to I think 30 minutes to an hour um, so as you can see the hair has gone to a blonde color this is now after I've bleached it about three times I'm going to be using Wella toner in two in t18 um now you're supposed to mix this with two parts uh 20 volume developer and one part um the toner but i didn't have enough developer but it ended up working out but in future i'm definitely going to be buying four bottles or five of that t8 um t18 i'm sorry weller toner because i did run out and it it was just really really difficult because i think i didn't and i didn't realize how much toner I would need basically so if you are bleaching three bundles and a frontal I would definitely suggest buying four or even five bottles of that T18 uh, Wella toner I will leave the links to it below um, I ended up running out so what I ended up using was purple hair dye and conditioner mixed mix if you didn't know that is a homemade way of doing toner and it actually worked out just as well to be fair as using the t18 toner and it didn't it doesn't damage the hair also because obviously there's no developer in this mix so yeah so i did a strand test obviously with the um purple hair dye and conditioner mix just to make sure it was going to tone the hair and not actually dye it purple and yeah so i'm just applying that to the i think i had i still had like two more bundles to do because the t18 toner just didn't last um so as you can see it's toning in the sink and you can see it's it's getting to that silver color the roots i think were still a bit too dark because it it just wouldn't be bleach enough so it the poster to come out like candy pink came out really really dark because the blonde was still too dark to take up all of the dye properly so as you can see, see i'm doing a strand test here and it's kind of too light so i'm adding some more pink petal to it um in the end I absolutely love the colour it came out in. As you can see, it's kind of like a candy pink. I wanted it lighter, but hey, whatever. And I'm adding the second colour I used, which was um, Adore Lavender, Soft Lavender. And I'm using that towards the ends of the hair so it can be like a, an ombre effect. Um, and yeah, like make sure that you obviously add a bit of a feather brush stroke to it so that it doesn't come out like just in one straight line of demarcation like you want a soft ombre um color so eventually afterwards i do go back and i feather the top bits of that color so it blends seamlessly into the pink and once i've done the front side of the frontal i turned it over and i did the second side of the frontal um the first time i went in with the pink petal color on the frontal it just it wasn't the color I wanted I just had I had it was stressful really doing this it was it was really really difficult um but it wasn't it was more of a salmon pink rather than a candy pink so I'm going over it again with that pink petal but in a more concentrated um color so less I think I added less conditioner to this to this dye mix um and then eventually it came out the color i wanted which was like a nice rich like candy pink instead of like a salmon pink but um yeah i'm i'm really happy with the way it turned out like it also the conditioner mix really helped the hair to get softer because bleaching the hair so much obviously does damage the hair like regardless of what hair company you're you're using um so making sure that i had 
the hair colour blended in with the conditioner ended up working great anyway because it ended up softening the hair and moisturising it and stuff. So now I'm just sewing the frontal onto the wig cap. I have a netted wig cap with um, adjustable straps at the back that I got from Pax Cosmetics. Um, I got these because Peak Mill uses them, but I'm just not sure I'm going to be using these in the future because... I, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I find that it pulls my frontals back. Like, I, I swear, like, I've tried everything. I've made sure that I measure it on my head and I've marked it and stuff and it still pulls it back. So I might go back to the elastic, the elasticated band wig caps. But anyway, as you can see, I'm hot gluing the bundles. As you can see, it's still looking a little bit damaged from the bleach. But um, I went over it again with some... I'm going to go over it again with some conditioner. But here it looks super healthy, like...